What's going on guys, Nemesis here, welcome back to the channel, and today I'm going to use Pekka Bridge Fam and the Global Tournament right now to teach you guys a few tips on how to succeed in the tournament. And uh, before I get into my first game, um, thank you guys so much for the support recently. I'm getting super close to 1,000 subscribers, so I'm super happy about that. Um, when I hit 1,000 subs though, I'm going to do a friendly giveaway on my Twitter, so be on the lookout for that. So without further ado, please make sure to like and subscribe, and let's go. Okay, I've got a first game here uh, against this guy. Uh, let's see here. Like I said, I'm going to teach you guys a few tips on how to succeed at the tournament to give you guys this emote. Um, it'd be pretty nice, so hopefully this video could help a bit. So for the first like few matches of the game, you always kind of want to um, play a little bit passively because a lot of the first matches are very random decks. Think of it as kind of like mid-ladder where they're super randomized. And yeah, uh, hold on. He's gonna go for a Gobble Barrel. He's also Skeleton King. Okay, he's gonna do that as well. I'm gonna go for a Battle Ram opposite lane because I have a free Ghost. Let's see what he wants to do here. Okay, I'm gonna go for a Skeleton Army, or a Zap for the Skeleton Army right there. And that giant, or. Yeah, that Pekka's gonna go down. It's totally fine. Uh, let's see here. Let's see what he wants to do here. I don't think he has that much Elixir anyway to support that Sparky. So I'm just going to go for Electro Wizard. Okay, you're going to do that. I'm going to go for like Electro Wizard all the way down here so that Hunter doesn't get too much splash on top of my E-Wiz. Okay, uh, I know he has a Skeleton King in his hand right now, so I don't want to be too aggressive right now knowing that I can't fully counter his Skeleton King. So yeah. But like I was saying earlier, uh, the first like like 10 matches or so are uh, very random decks. They're really not um, good at all, so... You be you want to be really careful with how you play because if you're too over aggressive, you could get surprised with like a Mega Knight or a Pekka out of nowhere, and you could pretty much just lose the game then and there. So yeah, be very careful. I'm just gonna go opposite lane again because of the same play. I got a zap for the skeleton army. Uh, he's probably not gonna play the skeleton army knowing they have a zapping cycle, so that's totally fine. Okay, there's a giant skeleton. I knew he had a giant skeleton as well. I know this deck. Uh, let's see. Okay, cool. I'm gonna go for a Magic Archer down low, just to kill that uh, Giant Skeleton a little bit quicker. We're gonna go for a Royal Ghost High, just so that doesn't get any uh, Death Bomb on us. And I'm gonna go for e with right here, and we should be chilling. I think I kinda wanna pressure up, because he doesn't have the best of answers. Okay, I'm definitely gonna pressure up, I'm gonna have my Zap ready for his. Okay, he's gonna do that. Okay, I'm just gonna let that thing go. I'm gonna go for Magic Archer down low again. Okay, he's gonna pop the ability. I don't think that's the greatest of abilities, to be honest. And yeah. Let's see here. I'm gonna go opposite lane here. If he goes for a giant skeleton, it's totally fine. Okay, there it is. Hmm. I'm gonna go for a bandit on top of that. I'm going to zap the skeleton army. And let's see, he's really close to going down, so I'm just going to go for Magic Archer here. I'm going to go for a... I'm going to go for a Fireball. Okay, that was super close. That was super, super close. I'm going to go battle around opposite lane here, because he's probably going to Giant Skeleton me or something. Okay, that's game. Oh my gosh, that was pretty hard matchup because of the Giant Skeleton. Honestly, Giant Skeleton is everywhere right now, so yeah. Let's go for the next one. Okay, so we got our next game here. I guess uh, I don't know. I don't know how to pronounce these names. So, yeah, <laughs> uh, we got Fireball, Electro Wizard, Pekka, and Royal Ghost. And let's see what he wants to do here. Uh, okay, so he's gonna go for Dark Prince. I'm gonna go for Electro Wizard in the back. Pretty solid counter to the Dark Prince. So we're chilling here. Uh, let's see here. He's not gonna play anything for that. Uh, I think I'm gonna go. Okay, I'm gonna go for a Fireball on top of that. I don't really know what deck with a Dark Prince plus a Flying Machine. Okay, I'm gonna go for a Magic Archer immediately. I wanna drop it as quick as I can because I know he probably has a Fireball on his deck, so I wanna get as much value from my Magic Archer as possible. There it is. I'm gonna go for Battle Ram as well. Do a little bit of dueling pressuring. And yeah. This looks like a very hard matchup, by the way, with the Royal Recruits in it. But, uh, okay, uh, these barbs are pretty much just gonna take his tower. I don't think it's 
they take the tower fully, but pretty much right there. So yeah, honestly, the best start you can ask for. Uh, I'll take it. You know, I really don't want to play against recruits. Okay, I'm gonna do that. I think I'm just gonna go for like a zap on the other lane. I don't want to cycle my Electro Wizard, I kind of want to keep it in my hand. And a Zap will kind of just take care of those two little pigs. Pretty nicely. Let's see what he wants to do. Okay, he's gonna go... Yeah, I want to keep my Electro Wizard for this Dark Prince. That's why I didn't want to use it. <clears throat> and yeah. Let's see here. Mm, let me see if he Flying Machine. He might Flying Machine in the middle. Or that. He's gonna give me Fireball Value. Perfect. That's literally the best thing you can ask for. So yeah, we're chilling here. Like I said, I wonder if he's gonna play his like Royal Recruits in the back. If he does, I'm gonna play him. Put my P.E.K.K.A. on the opposite lane. Okay, he's gonna do a, a 4-2 split on the left side. So, uh, yeah. This actually might be a little tricky. I need to cycle back to my Fireball. It's definitely the main thing to defend this. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. What do What do I do here? What do I actually do there? What? Oh, what? I'm so sorry. Like, I don't even know what I do to that. Like, that is just insane. <clears throat> this is definitely not what you want to see. Okay. Um, Magic Archer is definitely putting in a lot of work. I'm going to take a zap on top of that. Oh, my gosh. Uh... I think we're going to go for a Electro Wizard right here. We're going to go for a uh, Bandit right there. We're going to go for a Fireball on top of that because we need to. We're going to go for a Magic Archer in the back. And then I think we're going to go for a, ban or a Battle Ram immediately. Let's see here. Okay, he's going to go for another set of recruits. This is honestly like the hardest matchup you can ask for. This went like from 0 to 100 real quick. Like, what do you... Okay, hang on. Oh my gosh. Well, I'm sorry you guys have to see this kind of loss because there's literally nothing I can do against this kind of deck. Um, Alright then, let's go for the next game. Okay, so we're gonna next game here. Hopefully, we don't get that kind of deck um, from last game because that was literally like oh, like a zero hundred matchup. Okay, he's gonna go for guards in the back. Um, yeah, that last deck just gave me nightmares. <laughs> okay, let's go. Okay, he's gonna go for a guards plus a Valkyrie. I'm gonna go for a peck in the back because I think this is mortar and it's pretty solid to peck in the back against mortar. Uh, let's see here. Um. Let's see, he's gonna go for Tesla over there. A uh, pretty interesting Tesla placement, to be honest with you. I'm gonna go for a battle ram back opposite lane because that won't pull my battle ram. And let's see what he wants to do here. Okay, he's gonna go for a goblin barrel. Interesting goblin barrel. I could have played that uh Electro Wizard on the other side, like a tile to the right, because that means the goblin will only got one shot. And let's see here. Since he doesn't have the best of answers, like this bandit's going to clean up his Valkyrie. And now, yeah, see, he doesn't have good answers anymore. I'm just going to keep the pressure up now because he only has, like, a Tesla. He doesn't even have guards. Um, yeah. He might have guards now after he cycled that Ice Spirit, but... Yeah. Perfect. It's a lot of damage. I might just go ahead and kite these guards. Or I could probably just cycle his Zap because he just used Goblin Barrel. But, um, yeah, if you guys want to see how to take care of Log Bait, this is a perfect guide for you. So, yeah. It's really important that in this matchup, you want to keep track of their guards and their Valkyrie. If you know that their Valkyrie is out of cycle, you can kind of pressure at the bridge with like a ghost plus like a magic archer, stuff like that. Okay, he's going to go for a Tesla right there. I'm going to go for my magic archer right here. Okay, that's totally fine. Yeah, let's see here. I don't want to go in yet. I just want to play a little bit passively right now. I have a really solid damage lead and yeah, we're chilling here. Let's see what he wants to do for this. Okay, he's going to go for a go or gobble bear right there. I'm gonna go for my Electric Wizard right there, plus my Bandit on top of this Valkyrie, so we're chilling. Let's see what he wants to do here. Um, he's probably gonna go for guards, so I'm gonna go for my Royal Ghost right here, perfect. 
I'm gonna go for my pike on the back because he has to respond to this ghost. Okay. Wonder if he's gonna go opposite lane. Okay, there's this princess. He might have to play a um, Valkyrie on top of that. Perfect. So it's just gonna feed my Pekka now. <clears throat> I'm gonna go for Electro Wizard right here. I'm gonna go for a uh, Magic Archer High, just to snipe that princess. Hopefully. Perfect. Perfect. Oh my gosh, that was so bad on his end. I'm gonna go in. I'm gonna go for battle round. Just keep dueling pressuring at this point. There's really nothing he can do. I think he kind of just loses here. Yep, he loses. And yeah. Really well played by us. He really messed up on that princess, so I don't know what he's doing there. It was just a misclick, so I can understand. And let's go for the final game, potentially. Okay, so we've got our final game here. But hopefully, um, hopefully it's not a hard counter. And yeah. And yeah, if you saw, I actually had another loss when I started. Okay, giant first play, very skillful play right there. But it's, uh, like I was saying, um, I had a loss earlier when I started this video, and that was literally because like I missed a fireball on the Magic Archer. I really hate getting a loss before 20 wins. It kind of irritates me, but it is what it is. Okay, he's going to go for that. I'm just going to go for a... Um, I'm going to do that. I'm going to go for Electro Wizard right here. Okay, well, he's going to do that. Really well played on his end. Uh, let's see what he wants to do here. I'm going to go for my bandit here. Mm. I have to go for a battle room. I don't want to go for a ghost because the ghost is just going to die to it too. Uh, at least I'll take that into consideration now that um, he'll play bats immediately after. So yeah. I'm probably just going to go for a ghost at the bridge. This is the fact that he probably doesn't have that much elixir and he has an awkward cycle. He doesn't have mini P.E.K.K.A. anymore. Okay, perfect. Okay, so he should... Yeah, okay, I'm just going to take the zap on top of that. Let's see what he wants to do here. I don't know if I have... I I might be at elixir disadvantage, to be honest, so... Let's play a little bit passively right now. <clears throat> uh, let's, okay, we don't have elixir disadvantage. That's cool. Um, let's see what he wants to do here. I really don't want to make the play, but I mean, okay, you know, let's do that. Oh, he's actually going to play a, um, mini P.E.K.K.A. there. I really do not agree with that mini P.E.K.K.A. I feel like he should have just let the Sparky, uh, eat the bandit. We're going to go for a, uh, hmm. I'm gonna go opposite lane here. <clears throat> Do some dual lane pressuring. Okay, uh, I'm just gonna go right here. I might just cycle a fireball on top of that thing. Yeah, I kind of have to. There's nothing else I can do. Okay, let's go for a magic archer in the back here. Okay, he's gonna go for a mini P.E.K.K.A. again. That's totally fine. I think I'm just gonna kite this thing. It's pretty solid play. Let's kite that. Uh, let's see here. I'm, oh, that's perfect zap. That's a perfect zap. I'm going to go for, or not a zap, an e-wiz, I should say. Uh, and then the Barbarian should just destroy the right-hand side tower. Perfect. And that should be game. So if you guys want to take care of Sparky, that's how you take care of it. Um, If they play Sparky in the back, you want to pressure opposite lane. He was actually not even playing that good. He kept cycling his mini P.E.K.K.A.s. He should have been saving them a lot more and playing them behind the Giants. So, yeah, he wasn't even playing that good. But thankfully, we walked away with the W, so... Um, that's gonna go ahead and wrap up this video. Like I said, hold on, let me see something. Uh, yeah, 15 and 2, literally not even the greatest. Like, as you can see, I lost a hard counter, literally 0 100 matchup, and then the first loss was like a really bad matchup. Or not a bad matchup, but I misplayed. So, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll do more videos in the future.